If you're applying to UK medicine, but as an international applicant, you need to be very, very selective about which medical schools you apply to. If you know anything about our program, we started uh, specializing in international students and we have been helping people for about 13 years now to help people get into their first choice medical school at the first attempt. So when we're considering whether this particular university is a contender for being one of our four choices, we need to have a look at a few factors. Firstly, the number of places available for international students, how many people are applying to the university in general but specifically to those international places, how competitive it is, so what is the standard of those applicants, are they getting really good academic grades, are they getting a fantastic UCAT, BMAT, GAMSAT score, are they just really great with their experience and all of the kind of five key elements that you need to make a really strong application which I talk about in this video here. But first what we're going to do is look at some maybe less well documented universities because these are universities that you really should consider because they deliver fantastic medical degrees still but they are often overlooked which I'll explain in a second. Now the first three universities we're going to talk about are private universities. Now I want to just talk through the lens of domestic applicants first and now now I'll explain why that we're going to consider these for internationals. When you apply as a domestic applicant to the UK you will usually go through UCAS or well, in fact you as an international everybody will go through UCAS to apply to what I will call the main universities. So your common ones that you know of, King's College London, Oxford, Cambridge, etc. Now domestic applicants will have to pay the standard £9,250 every year regardless of which university they go to. However with these universities the fees go up drastically for internationals. Anything from about £14,000 a year all the way up to £50,000 for the year. Now this is very similar to what the private universities charge regardless of where you're from. So if you're a domestic student and you apply to some of these private universities that we're going to talk about now, you still have to pay that range of private fees regardless whether you're domestic or international. Now for a lot of people that rules those universities out which is often why they're tossed to the side and forgotten about. However, when we're applying as an international and we are paying these really high fees anyway, then that suddenly means that it doesn't really matter whether you're applying to the more conventional universities or to the private universities and really you're paying the same fees regardless so that brings them back into the mix for consideration. The application is pretty much exactly the same other than you go through their channel rather than the UCAS channel which means that you still need to do the aptitude test, you still need to write a really strong personal statement and interview well and like I say all of those things that make up a really strong application. So you're doing all of this anyway, uh, submitting your four choices that you get to UCAS and then you can add these three private universities on top of that to increase your chances. So with that hefty introduction out of the way, let's actually start looking at some of the universities. So the very first one we're going to look at is Buckingham University. The University of Buckingham Medical School is the first independent not-for-profit medical school. Their guiding philosophy is to produce highly ethical, honest and compassionate doctors who will put the patients first. So as we present the universities we're going to have some stats along the side here but the important thing to know from an international perspective with Buckingham is that they have 180 places every year and there is no cap on international students. So effectively there is potentially up to 180 places available. Realistically obviously some of those will go to domestics but essentially they are not uh, limiting the amount of international students that are able to apply and take places there. Typically every year they have about 1,200 applications so you know you're kind of in the one in six, one in seven ratio for success of applicant to getting a place. Then the second private university that we can talk about is Brunel University which is placed on the outskirts of London. Now they have a hundred places dedicated to international students every year. Then of the private universities probably the most international friendly one is UK clan, the University of Central Lancashire. Now they, um, although they're a private university, they still have early clinical placement in NHS hospitals and placement settings. Now UCLan are known for being only local people to the Lancashire area or international students. So essentially out of 115 places that are available, they have 15 available only for local people and then 100 places specifically for international applicants. And every year they get in the region of about 1,600 applications. So now we're going to go on to the universities that you can apply to through UCAS and I was going to do a top 10 for this but I did want to include one university which 
has basically only just started recently and they had their admission delayed because of some issues with the GMC. However, they have stated on their website now that they will be starting and taking applications for 2023 entry, which means so if you're applying now, it means that you should be fine going forward for subsequent 2024 and anything beyond that entry. Now, the University of Worcester is only a four year program. So that means that it's exclusively for graduates, both domestic and international. And of the international allocation, they have 100 places for those. They have a lower IELTS requirement or English language proficiency requirement. Typically, we aim for a 7.5 in the IELTS, but this one is requiring a seven overall with no individual area being lower than 6.5. Also, the aptitude tests, normally, you know, they will, they will ask for one aptitude test, and maybe they'll only ask for the UCAT or they might ask for the GAMSAT. Here, they will actually let you take any of UCAT, GAMSAT, or the MCAT, which is an American entrance exam. Okay, so now we're finally down to our conventional UCAS medical schools. So we'll kind of go a backwards countdown from 10 to one, starting with the University of Manchester in at number 10. Manchester is the largest medical school in the UK with over 2,200 undergraduate medical students throughout the course, yet they also have some of the smallest class sizes. Manchester gets an average of 664 international medical school applicants every year for only 28 places. So you can see now how difficult the competition ratios get as we get down to these universities. If you want to find out more about how you can really stay on top of all of this stuff and keep up to date, check out our website where we have some free resources, but more importantly, sign up to the newsletter so that you can stay up to date with all of this stuff. So next we have King's College London, which is where I studied. Fantastic university, I absolutely love it. And actually, if you want to find out more about the university itself and what it's like, I've done a play list here where we're doing individual university profiles but here I'm just going to focus purely on the international aspect of things. So King's College London has a thriving international community offering a wide range of support services to ensure smooth transition for international students. The universities that form a part of King's are Guy's Hospital, St. Thomas's Hospital and King's College Hospital. Three fantastic hospitals, some of the best in the UK that I've had the privilege to work at. So data in previous years shows that they kind of get around 500 applications every year for around 31 places specifically for international students. And then when you get down to the graduate program at King's, the numbers are obviously even smaller. So that's why we spent a lot of time building our own guides for our students on our program to make sure that they've got all the information that they need to really be sure about where is the smartest place to apply. At number eight, we have the University of Birmingham Medical School, which is where I'm from originally. The University of Birmingham provides comprehensive support services for international students, including language support, cultural integration programs, and dedicated international student societies. Overall, as a university, Birmingham are extremely selective. As per recent admissions, only 13.5% of applicants were given a place with more than 10,000 international students applying to the university as a whole. At Birmingham University, they typically have 400 places available per year, of which 28 are specified for international applicants. Then at number seven, we have the University of Nottingham. Nottingham offers a range of scholarships and financial aid options specifically tailored to support international students, making it an accessible choice. The university as a whole gets about 2,200 applications per year. There are 371 places available, 24 of which are dedicated to international applicants. At number six, we have the University of Bristol. Around 25% of students from Bristol are from overseas Overseas, and they score 100% in graduate prospects for studying medicine, which is a high success rate for finding a placement post-university. Now, that sounds great, but most graduates, when they graduate from medicine, are likely to go on and do their foundation year job in the NHS. And although it is slightly oversubscribed, so a small proportion of people don't get a job, it's very unlikely to happen. And it is, like I say, a very small number. It's great that Bristol places everybody, but that isn't necessarily something that I would uh, wet, like look too much into and kind of put too much value on because I would imagine that it's probably over 98% for pretty much every medical school. Now the medical school gets anything from 2,700 to 2,800 applications per year. That is for 270 places, 251 of which are domestic, and then the remaining 19 are for overseas students. So in at number five, we have the University of Edinburgh. Edinburgh, again, as a university as a whole, is very international friendly. It has a diverse student body, including over 14,600 international students from over 100 
150 different countries for the uni as a whole. So to give you an idea of competition ratios, looking at some historical data, there was once 2,150 applicants for about 190 places for domestic uh, positions, whereas there were 715 applications for just 17 places. So it's a competition ratio of 1 to 11 versus 1 to 17 for internationals. And number four, we have the University of Glasgow, which has been voted the third overall best university for studying medicine in the UK. It says on its website that it's immensely proud and supportive of its diverse international community of talent. International students make up 15% of their student population overall, and they consistently score well in the international student barometer. From arrival services to visa and immigration support, their comprehensive student support system ensures a smooth transition for international students. Glasgow will get about 1,800 applications for the entire medical school every year, and there are only 22 places dedicated to international applicants. Then, you probably would have guessed it, it's time to look at the Oxford universities. Oxford, I talked about as a university in in this video here where you can find out what it's like to be a general student there and what the university and course is like. Oxford gets again around 1,800, 1,900 applications per year. They have 200 places available at their medical school. 186 of those are for home applicants, whereas 14 are for internationals. Now you have to bear in mind just how competitive that is and what the standard needs to be to, to kind of be within a shot of actually getting one of those 14 places. Then at number two, we have Cambridge University. Cambridge is much bigger than Oxford, which means that there are more medics in your year group and on the course overall. There are about two and a half thousand applications to the medical school every year. There are about 313 places, 22 of which are dedicated to overseas students. And that brings us to the number one place to apply to medicine in the UK. Drum roll please, it is Imperial College. If you've ever been on the website for Imperial, they have fantastic support for international students. They have country and region specific guidance and just generally are very good at giving you information to help you. You can also leverage that information for other universities because a lot of the stuff that they say is generic and applicable to all medical schools when you're thinking in terms of visas and general eligibility, they often translate a lot. They also score higher for student satisfaction than both Oxford and Cambridge Medical School. Imperial College London say on their website that they're committed to providing a seamless transition for international students. From pre-arrival guidance to dedicated international student support teams, you'll receive the assistance and resources necessary to thrive in your medical studies. Plus, the Imperial College London acceptance rate overall for international students is much higher than most universities at 36%. However, that is for the entire university. Again, overall, the medical school gets about 2,400 applications per year, which is for 345 overall places, 24 of which are for international students. So I hope you found that really useful. Like I say, check out my international playlist, which you can find out here, which gives you a lot more information about how to apply. But if you would like our help, I strongly recommend that you do that to be really competitive with your application. You can check out this video here and have us help you one-on-one. -on -one. You can go through our program where we've had ridiculous success rate. We started helping international students to help you on your journey. So thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you applying to our program.